Hi everyone, in this video I will explain how the electric power steering system works, also known as EPS. I'll start by mentioning the main components. One of the main components, as you see it written down, is the steering angle sensor, also known as steering position sensor. I'll show you where this component goes in a second. Next component, the steering torque sensor. Next one on the list, steering control unit also known as steering control module next electric motor and they work with the vehicles electronic control module or ECM which it uses the information from other sensors like ABS sensors and if equipped vehicle speed sensor and it uses the traction control system since it's very likely that in the drawing the item that is the most recognized is going to be the steering wheel will start there. Right here in the center of the steering column behind the steering wheel you're going to find the steering angle sensor also known as the steering wheel position sensor. As its name implies its job is to inform the position of the steering wheel meaning is the driver turning it? Is it in a straight line? that's what it means. What is the position? Obviously it's bolted to the steering column so we know what is that but is it rotating or not? That's the job of this sensor. The example that I'm using for this illustration is a rack companion style. Some small vehicles have the electric power assist in the steering column. Their design is slightly different but the purpose is the same. Once you understand its operation, it will not make a difference to you whether it's a rack and pinion style or the power assist is located in the steering column. You'll know how it works. So, on this rack and pinion style, right here where the rack connects to the steering column, there is a steering torque sensor. And what this sensor does, it registers the force that is being applied when you turn. Inside the sensor itself, there's a torsion bar that flexes and the sensor captures that and relates that information to the steering control unit, also known as steering control module. And this information is also shared with the vehicle's computer, or the vehicle's ECM. And that applies to the information that was sent by the steering wheel position sensor. So at this point, we know that the steering position sensor or steering angle sensor is letting this module know where the steering wheel is at as far as whether it was rotating or not like I said earlier and this module also knows how much force you're applying to the steering wheel when you're trying to turn because it's receiving the signal from the torque sensor as we move along here's the electric motor that turns the gears that provides the power assist the electric motor has another sensor that indicates its position. So the module is going to know where the motor is, where the steering wheel is as far as turning, and it also knows the force. And just like I mentioned earlier, this information is shared with the vehicle's control computer. And moving along, this is where the gear reduction mechanism is. The motor turns a gear, and the gear is going to move the rack side to side. So we know that the motor is going to turn in circles, whether it's going to be forward or reverse or in different terms clockwise or counterclockwise and that rotational movement is going to be transferred to the rack through the gears and this rack is going to move side to side to provide the additional force when you're trying to turn the wheels these are the tie rods if you're going right it's going to move that way if you're going left it's going to move this way and this rack, as I wrote it here, is inside the housing, so you cannot see it, but I wanted you to picture how it looks. It has these splines where the gears are going to engage to move it side to side. And the rack also has splines here because as you're trying to turn the wheel, you also have a gear here. So you have two sets one coming from the steering column 
and one coming from the power assist. And to prove to you how natural the feeling is of a very well designed electronic power steering system, when you bought a newer vehicle before you knew that it had electric power steering, I guarantee you that you did not know. And maybe you discovered it the first time you changed the oil. Who knows, you could have been under the car and then you notice a motor, there were no hydraulic hoses attached to the rack and pinion, there was no power steering pump, and maybe you were like, what is this? And by then your curiosity maybe drove you to look into it. It could be the reason why you're watching this video, I'm not sure. That's how natural the feeling is when the system is well designed. And this concludes today's tutorial about how the electronic power steering system works. On upcoming videos I'll explain how each part and each sensor works, their design, that way you'll understand it better, but this is a general overview that should give you an understanding on how every time you turn the steering wheel you have all these components helping you so you don't have to struggle and have to turn so hard. Have a great day.